So this past month has been a weird time. The growing number of major meat processing plants are closed because of coronavirus. 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 That is a true pandemic. Crooks, criminals, you chill. But in the midst of all this fear and doubt and anxiety, there's been a silver lining. And that's you. The people who have flocked online to make great content. Communities coming together to pray, to teach, to minister to one another. People sharing homeschooling tips, praying the rosary together, churches live streaming mass. People getting on Zoom to play concerts. I think it's, you know, like we want to connect. Like we innately as human beings yearn and strive for a relationship, whatever that looks like. The desire to connect is real. The number of people using Zoom was enough to confirm that, but still, I'm seeing crazy amounts of people digging deeper, watching live stream masses, and it seems nearly every church has made the move to digital. Heck, even the Pope is live streaming. And I know, I know he was doing that before, but still. It's just an interesting time to be witnessing this, uh, because yeah, I'm, I've like done live streams and I've been doing social uh, media for like most of my career. But now instead of me kind of reaching out and like, hey, we should try this, or maybe let's look at Instagram Live, um, I have people coming to me like, I want to do this because it is the only way that they can reach um, Audience, right? One of my favorite things that come from all of this is to see priests interact and engage with the communities outside of Mass. Well, today's the first Sunday that none of you can go to Mass. And I know that if I was a teenager at this time, I'd be like, yippee, no Mass. In Houston, we have priests like Father TJ from St. Martha's and Father Victor from St. Joseph St. Stephen's who are vlogging their day, posting community updates on social media, sharing movie recommendations, and having just a good time engaging with the communities. Amor, what is it that you liked about Father Victor so much? He made quarantine feel a little more normal. Yeah, there you go. On the lay side, we have people like those behind Be A Heart Design and Hallow who are creating great resources and reflections to help us get through this. And that's another reason I think why so many people are creating and sharing things online. It's an outlet for them to be able to understand what it is they're living through. We need to remember the pain of what we're going through right now, mm -hmm. but also having that awareness that there's something on the other side that's gonna be different. Like, let's journey through that together. Let's struggle with that together and at least tell people that we're in it. And I think when we do this stuff digitally, like, it's just a way of saying like, we're all in this struggle together and there's beauty in that connection too. So what happens with this is all behind us. When we're able to go back to church in person, does all this online content just go away? Some people will probably go back to their norm and be happy when they don't have to worry about the techno technological part. Mm -hmm. But then others might be like, oh man, I'm so glad that we did this. Let's go, you know, let's keep going. Um, I'm hoping that people will continue to embrace like watching the Pope's Mass is from home here, and I'm hoping things like that continue. It was a really cool moment of knowing like all the Catholics at the same time are together. Now, I want to open it up to you. What are some of the amazing things that you've seen come out of this? And who are the people that you look to online who are doing it right? Share those in the comments below. I'd love to see that. And I want to give a special thanks to Bridget and Vivian. Thank you for taking the time to talk to me. If you want to see more of the work, I'll link everything in the description below, along with everything else you've seen here today. Finally, if you're a creative and you're on the fence about making and sharing things at this moment, I want to leave you with some parting words from Bridget. This is our time to shine. <laughs> like the world is going through something that is absolutely impossible. Like it is so difficult and there's so much pain and anxiety. And, um, you know, even if you haven't been touched by someone actually dying from this disease, like the numbers are rising and there's stress all around. And so as a Christian or a person of faith, this is the time when you can be that voice crying out in the desert, you know, like this is, this is it. And digitally you, your reach is unbelievable. Like you, you can reach so many people just with a few shares, you know, so.